I've gotten a lot of a lot of hate, and I get myself a lot of um, trolls that really like to take take pretty big digs at me. I watched the video you posted on Instagram. I think it was called what, like uncomfortable conversations Convers with a black right. man, um, Manuel Lacho. And you said uh, something like, uh, "I have had difficult moments with people I'm close to about dating PK, and I don't know how to communicate our relationship to them." Um, I I explain that. You know, I think there are conversations involved with race that are very difficult. Um, there's not always a clear answer or a clear path to understanding. I will never be able to walk in PK shoes, and so. Um, I try to learn as much as I can from him and from others and um, educate myself as much as possible. PK's family has been um, so great and his sisters especially have um, really helped and tried to, you know, um, teach me and educate me. And they recommend books to me that they think would be helpful and, you know, subconsciously, you know, you have what I don't think is racist may be racist. And so I always ask them you know, is this, what does this mean? You know, is there hidden undertones that I'm not getting because, you know, I don't understand. It's nice to know that they're always there to help me and, and um, you know, they're, he has an amazing family and very lucky to be coming into that family. Are, are there conversations that, like, you might not have expected to have to have with people close to you that... Uh... Yeah, I mean, it just, it adds another layer of, of complication, not complication, but it's just, there are different things in an interracial relationship that, um, that others wouldn't have. And, and um, I think the main thing is educating each other and, um, you know, really being willing to understand and, and open your mind up. And, and um, I've gotten a lot of, a lot of hate and I get myself a lot of um, trolls that really like to take take pretty big digs at me, especially like during the Olympics. There's there's a lot of things that that have gone on over the course of my the last probably you know eight years, six years that um, I've tried to navigate and learn from and understand. You know, I'm never going to understand why someone's a racist. Never going to understand that, but. I also need to be um, more aware of myself and my actions, and I never want to give the impression that I, I think I know everything, because I honestly know nothing. I mean, uh, what do I know? You know, so I'm, I, I approach it from that perspective. You know, help me to understand. How did uh, being in the relationship impact your perspective recently in terms of everything going on in the world? Well, I think PK has a different perception or perspective because he's he's from Canada, right? So he doesn't experience, or he said that he hasn't really had the same experiences as growing up a black man in the United States. Um, but you know, he he likes to take action, and you know, he's less of a talker and more of a doer. You know, he um, created his blue line buddies um, when Kaepernick was kneeling. Um, because he wanted to bridge the gap between police officers, law enforcement, and underprivileged youth. And he's done a great job with that. He's trying to expand that league-wide right now. Instead of talking about it, he wants to help others and you know, find ways to create scholarships. And, and as am I with my foundation, you know, and um, I'm trying to be more diverse as well. I think I, I reach a bit of a different audience than he does. So I'm trying to, you know, I'm really, trying to help as many people as I can from all different backgrounds.